Alright, so I just want to do a quick review for those persons who are using NetBeans for the first time. Alright, so it's pretty simple and straightforward in terms of downloading and installing NetBeans. Just type NetBeans in your browser. Um, I'm using Google Chrome. Use whichever browser is your preferred. No, I'm just going to click on Welcome to Apache NetBeans. So the latest release is Apache NetBeans 17. I'm going to click on Download, but just to quickly mention something. All right. Um, it is specifically built, you can say, for Java you can do other things with NetBeans, right? So it says Java, JavaScript, PHP, HTML5, CSS, and, and much more. So it is generally a development environment for creating Java applications, whether it's console apps, desktop applications, or even web applications. So I'm going to click on download now. All right, now here you'll see different download options, right? Uh, Windows users, you can go with the exe file or whichever of the files is your preferred choice, All right? So I'm just going to go with this option here. Right, so here it says that it is suggesting, or at least Apache is suggesting, is suggesting um, using this site for our download. So I'm just going to click on that. All right, and that will download my NetBeans 17 exe file. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this now. All right, so once the download has been completed, I'll just click on the downloaded file here and start my installation. All right, so it should bring up a user access control dialog box asking if you want to go ahead with the installation basically just verifying the publisher of the or the person who created the the netbeans id so just for security purposes so i'm going to click on yes and then my installation has started All right, so it says, welcome to Apache NetBeans ID 17 installer. All right, so the base IDE, the Java SE, um, the Java um, EE as well. So I'm going to click on next. I'm going to accept the terms. Click on next. All right, so I am going to install my NetBeans to this location here and it is coming along with the JDK 18. So JDK is the Java Development Kit which is needed to allow us to compile and run our Java code. All right, so from a previous installation of the Java Development Kit or the Java um, or the JDK, I had installed 19. So I'm just going to opt to use 19. Well, 19 would have been installed already. So let me see if there'll be any conflict. 
All right, so I want to install. All right, let me just allow this to finish the installation and then I will continue after. All right, so in terms of development environments that we can use to create and run our Java programs, you know, NetBeans obviously is one because we're installing that now. There's also Eclipse, which I, I use quite a lot. And there are others, um, IntelliJ comes to mind as well. All right, so those, in my opinion, would be the, would be the top three in terms of integrated development environments for creating your um, java programs or your java applications All right so maybe you you feel as though NetBeans is not for you you can simply just go ahead and install any of the other ides All right NetBeans was was built originally with java in mind you know so it, it does integrate um, good with Java. Not saying that Eclipse doesn't, and not saying that IntelliJ doesn't, but uh, you know, for for most persons, you know, NetBeans is what they would have started with. There are those of us who, when we're learning Java, we started with NetBeans, and then there are others who Eclipse was the IDE that they would have started with. No, the IDE doesn't really matter as long as you are writing the correct syntax. You know, again, I have some students who are more comfortable with Eclipse, some are more comfortable with NetBeans, and then there are others who prefer to use IntelliJ. So the preference in IDE for me is not a major thing, right? Um, but you just want something that will get the work done, something that will do it as good as you want it to, to, to operate or as good as you want it to get the job done for you. All right, so I'm going to click on finish. And our installation looks to be completed. All right, so I had an earlier version of NetBeans installed here. And this is the one that we just installed, the 17. So I'm going to open this up quickly. All right, so it's saying settings created by a previous version of the ID you were found on your system and it told me exactly where and it's asking me if I want to import them. I'm just going to go ahead and say yes. So all the settings from my previous version, those will be applied here. If you want, you probably could go ahead and, and not, um, well, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and not import, all right? All right, so this is my NetBeans IDE. All right, so currently NetBeans is doing some background scanning of the projects that I would have um, imported from my previous version of the IDE. And these are the previous projects that it found. Um, I don't think this is everything well it seems to be everything that I had in that previous version all right so the scanning looks to be completed all right so just to open one of these projects and just to test out my IDE all right, let me go with this one here Right, so for this particular project, I have two files, one called lecturer and one called lecturer main. For the lecturer file, it's just a class called lecturer with 
some private member variables some getters and setters two constructors one being the no argument constructor and then a parameterized constructor a method to calculate the salary of the employed lecturers or of the lecturers and then a method to display right in my lecture main all that is here is a class that is holding the public static void main method so i'm going to run this now just to see if my ide is working fine All right, and it did execute down here for me. So my IDE would have been downloaded and installed properly. All right, so I'm now using the latest version of NetBeans and one of the more later versions of the Java development kit or the, the JDK, which is needed to allow us to compile and run any java code that we write all right so i'll be using my netbeans ide definitely in another video all right so but that is it for now just keeping it as short as possible